Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. And today we have got a power supply from Thermaltake. This is the Tough Power SFX 1000 watt power supply. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, so this is the Thermaltake Tough Power SFX 80 plus gold 1000 watt fully modular power supply. So, this, so this is, is some information. It is PCI Gen 5 ready with a 16 pin connector. It's ATX 3.0 compatible, a smart zero fan, 100% Japanese capacitors with a seven year warranty. Mm. There's the infamous connect up there for nvidia graphics cards as for like the efficiency the that's like i said it's 80 plus it's gold certified efficiency with a that's the low ripple noise design there's the extreme strict voltage regulation but there then of course this is all the connectors but that is the main issue that's the main thing but there the 12 volt rail that is what you want if you see a power supply with less than say 10 to 15 percent of its actual wattage like say you have a thousand watt but it's only rated on the 12 volt rail at like 500 watts then you stay away from it personally that is what you want to look for the connectors now let's have a look what comes in the box okay so now this is actually compatible with normal size pc cases as you can see it comes with an included bracket for bigger cases so it does not so basically, you're not without using it in a big case. Now, it does come with the, this will be the, uh, like spec, uh, the spec sheets that tells you the overall models it comes with, which are, okay, with the English, but ha, there's the English version, but there. So it tells you all the information that I just said, basically. So we'll have a look now. Let me get this away and I'll be back. Okay, so now this is a SFX power supply. Believe it or not, you won't actually understand how small they are. So Indeed. there's the fan. It is a very thin millimeter fan. There's them. Then there's the connectors by here. This does support obviously for big GPUs as well. Peripherals. It's got the peripheral and SATA. There's the 12 high volt power that's the infamous cable for nvidia cards then of course pci then which is plus for cpu and then there is the 24 pin for 80x so like i said it's 999.6 watts on the 12 volt rail that is what you want now i am not taking this apart because you do not want to take apart a power supply there's capacitors in here especially since i've turned it on already you get shorted with these and it can kill you or knock you against the wall so be very careful with these so put this by here now okay these are the cables so you got now i'm not a big fan of these type of cables the pci cables i would prefer individual eight pins or individual like that but that obviously that's one of them things it's just me being picky so these are all the cables now they are just a basic looking cables there's nothing fancy about them i do like that that this power supply is compatible with like older gen uh motherboards and such both actually cpu pins are the same then of course you've got molex but uh, not, not molex sorry sata there's the infamous 12 volt high power cable it is rated for 600 watts so that should be fine from up to i say a 5080 or a 5090 as well and of course, it does come on the power brick, but it's obviously for the Europe. And then, of course, then you've got more PCI here, which are the day the like the pigtail versions. And you've got Molex. Don't use Molex in 2025. More SATA, and then you've got this. Then that's probably for a floppy. But yeah, as you can see, look, I have opened it once. So right, let's get into some specifications for this particular power supply. Okay, so like I did say in the intro, it is an 80 plus certified and Intel C. 6c7 state ready obviously the series has been optimized to work with all generations of intel processors but also this does work with the amd as well of course i did mention the overall bracket as well no matter the case size we've got you covered that is the mantra from thermal tape now like i did say they do use 100 japanese capacitors but also remember do not take this off you keep this enclosed unless you know what you're doing like i did say it's pci gen 5 ready 
And of course, it is a uh, 600 watt cable, which is fantastic. It means 5090 up and uh, down below. Now, th this is ready for all GPU series. That includes AMD as well as all the RTX cards with even cards older with the normal 8-pin standard. So this will be fine for that. It says, be smart, stay quiet. The fans audible noise is under 30 uh, 33.5 decibels 100 percent operation quite honestly i have run this and i didn't hear it so now cable lengths now the main 24 pin power connector is 300 millimeters the atx 12 volt uh four pin plus four pin is 400 the pci 6.2 pin is 400 and 150 millimeters the pci 12 four uh four pin which is the infamous cable for nvidia card which is that one that is 400 millimeters say it does 300 150 150 and 150 the uh peripherals which is basically for like molex which don't use Molex. It's 300, 150, 150, and 150. And then a floppy adapter, which you don't use in 2025, but that is 150 millimeters as well. Now, like I did say, 100% Japanese capacitor. You do have to be careful, but the AC input voltage is 100 and 240 volt with a input current at 12, uh, no, at 15 amp max with a frequency of 50 and 60 hertz. The DC output is at three, at plus 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12, minus 12, and plus 5 VSB. The fan inside does have a fluid dynamic bearing that guarantees superior cooling performance. So you aren't going to really worry there. And then, of course, then, it, like, it's, like I've said, it's 80 plus certified. It's got all the connectors you need for a modern power supply. So this is definitely something cool. Now, let's get this into a system and test it, shall we? Okay then, so what's the conclusion? Should you buy this? Well, I've used this previously in the uh, Thermaltake TR100 Mini ITX case review and quite honestly, for a very small power supply, I was actually very surprised by the size. I've never seen an uh, SFX power supply before, so I was rather surprised, but just the sheer size, which was really tiny compared to a traditional ATX power supply. Now, this one has everything you need. It has all the connectors. It has that infamous 12-volt uh, high-power cable for NVIDIA cards. And this power supply is specifically designed for 600-watt cables. So that means it will be able to run a 5090. Mm -hmm. And considering what 10 years ago would have got you for that kind of price, you would have been spending £200 plus for a 1,000-watt power supply. Power supplies have gotten super, super crazy cheap these days. And quite honestly, this one's a very good value. And it does have the humps to be able to be compatible with previous gen stuff. 
all the way up to the current components on the market. So what do you want? That's up to you. If you want to buy it, I'll leave a link down below and it does give me a kickback. So thank you very much. And big thank you to Thermaltake for sending this out for review. Oh, now, don't, don't forget to subscribe. I've got absolute tons of stuff coming. There's one behind me. I've got motherboards. I've even got an Intel CPU coming from Intel. And I've got a motherboard that I've got to pick up a Tech Max. So I will eventually be adding the Intel platform to CPU cooler reviews. So loads of stuff to come. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. This is Richard Foyles Tech. Good. Bye.